guys, what's up? Another quick tip for you. Um, have you guys tried mixing in mono? The reason I say this is check this difference out. This is stereo, and then I'm going to swap to my mono mix, as in it's still a stereo track, but when I mixed it, I mixed it in mono. Personally, I think the second one still needs some work, as they both do, but the second one sounds a hell of a lot better. There's much more clarity, there's more bass, there's uh, just everything in it just sounds better to me. Here's a real quick comparison again. Like, if you pay attention to the bass guitar and stuff like that, um, you can hear that it, it just sounds much fuller uh, in the mix. So, in short, all I did was two main things versus the first mix. Uh, every time I used compression, and every time I EQ'd something where I was EQing to actually fix something in particular, that you, for example, take out, uh, you know, frequencies that I didn't want to be there, I would swap to mono, which in Reaper is really easy. You've got this button down here, and you click that, and then you just carry on about your way as if you would normally do it. Uh, it works really well with compression and make sure you don't compress things too much. Um, and EQing as well. And the reason you do that in the context of a full mix is when you swap to mono, everything should sound fine. Obviously, it doesn't have the separation that you're going to have in drum cymbals and guitars and things like that. But what I mean is everything shouldn't overlap. It should be still just clear. So in short, if you're mixing in mono in a full mix context uh, for a kind of portion of it and everything sounds clear then swap it out to stereo and finish off a mix there that, that's my kind of tip and the other one the 400 hertz thing uh, all of the main drums as in uh, the toms the kick and the snare try giving them a little scoop around 400 um, it's not going to be exact for everyone but try around 400 and then just kind of shimmy it left or right to, to work out and that improved the clarity of my mixes tenfold as you'll hear here again so if you guys agree that the second one's better try mixing in mono uh, and then you know swapping it to stereo at the end and cut some of that 400 hertz out not too much don't go crazy we're talking like well whatever it needs essentially but you know for me it was between three and ten decibels so uh that's kind of the range I was working in. Other than that, have a great one, guys. Cheers. Bye.